Today's Move Up Cincinnati is focusing on a community that has seen more than 25% growth in the last two decades. But it comes with a problem and some are concerned economic growth will fall behind. Nine on your side is committed to reporting on how transportation and development is affecting the region. Tamika Artis reports from Pierce Township. Okay, the dozen red roses. That, that right there would work. It is one of the busiest times of the year at Amelia Florist. We're hopping. This is, this is the day. But they are one of the success stories along the 125 corridor between Amelia and Pierce Townships. Just up the road, <laughs> other businesses are closing their doors. At the same time, new homes are being built every day. And that's a concern for township trustee and longtime resident Alan Freeman. When he takes a look at this map of one of Claremont County's wealthiest communities, this is the this is the biz, the commercial activity uh, zone right through here. He's not happy with what he sees. Right now, the township has about about four and a half percent uh, commercial activity. That number should be around eight percent. That would be able to provide additional services to the folks that are living here as well as as people who we'd like to attract to the to the neighborhood as well. Conducting a traffic study, he says, is the first step to economic development. Pierce Township does not sit on 275. It does not have an expressway that runs through it. So we have to be mindful of what types of, of uh, businesses we can attract. Given the limited points of access to the area, the township is looking to build around three key points of interest. One of them, the Pierce Point Cinema, could bring in huge crowds on a good night. So you'd have restaurants that would be in coordination with the theater, which would also hopefully bring in some additional um, uh, entertainment venues that, that could all supplement one another. <laughs> The owner of Tom A. Wad's upholstery knows firsthand how traffic flow can make or break a business. It's the reason he moved to the other side of 125. Much easier location to get in and out of mm -hmm. and more visibility. Having access to other venues that draw a lot of business is how Vicki Winstrup's shop has been able to flourish. Now that the Kroger's is here and, you know, a couple of other stores, restaurants, they're coming, they're moving this way. And I, I hear that all the time. Follow WCPO throughout the year online and on air to learn about how decisions relating to transportation and development are affecting the region. In Pierce Township, Tamika Artist, 9 on your side.